Hi there, signs of Aquarius. This is Kim. I hope you're doing really good today. We're getting into the Oracle using the Shaman's Dream. And um, as always, I open up for your spirit team to join your angels so that we get messages for your most high. That is the intent. Okay, Aquarius. What message? You know what? I don't even know why I'm doing Aquarius first. I was going to do Gemini. <laughs> strange repairing the veil forgiveness libra had that message too so aquarius there is definitely some kind of message i'm supposed to get out there to this group of aquariuses um 14 drifter experiencing life as it comes oh i love this one watchers i feel like that's your angels like helping you transcend any kind of limit or you know problem any kind of like human issue human problem nice beloved if you don't know then you do mean a whole lot to somebody with this beloved card um let's see let's see what else what else Grab the Kipper deck first. All right, tell me more about repairing the veil, forgiveness. Mm, for uh, maybe a situation that still is waiting on a judgment or still going to court over something, it can be about releasing judgments upon somebody and forgiving. Tell me about Drifter experiencing life as it comes. Official person, 22. An official person. Um, watchers, transpersonal. Distant horizons. And the distant horizons. And what is radical acceptance, beloved, about courthouse? Wow. Okay, listen, you all have a lot of things pointing to legal um to legal things and judgments and all right let's find out what is this all about so beloved radical acceptance and then something to do with the courthouse number 23 tell me more about the courthouse and the beloved card Okay, well, it's all about perspective because the way that we're looking at it, we're wanting things to shake up because we feel like they haven't been going in our direction or for our own good. So this might be a change of luck or something coming in as opposed to how it was looking to you. Whew. What else? Commitment. Meeting milestones. Some kind of celebration because it is a victory or a win of some sort. Um, you might be making really big moves regarding some kind of legal issue or court thing. Um, you're seen here with this victory card. Experiencing life as it comes and the victory. Like maybe that's what somebody is looking up to you about is that you're just kind of taking things and handling them as they come. There could be a really big move or a big, like an actual house purchase here too for some. Tell me more about watchers. Mm. Three swords in the reverse. In the distant horizons, you see those colors kind of match up too. So there's something that um, you're letting go of or letting go. Sadness, um, a loss that you're going to let go of because you're just sailing to new places here. Something new. Um, it really does look like a victory in a, in a court thing. Tell me about adjudication or that is the act of judging something. Um, Nine of Cups, happiness. Hmm, a wish granted. Wish granted. An official, and it seemed to want to land on an official person. Might be somebody um, within 
some kind of institution or somebody that has a lot of respect or that can help you a whole lot um, to collaborate with you, to help you lay down the groundwork, doing your own research, and it ends up with like a wish granted. This, um, with cooperation, it, this reading just is all about with cooperation, things are going to go good. You're going to let go of some sadness, making some big moves, and maybe switching to feeling like you were not very lucky to feeling like you've gotten a wish granted, like there's something that you can have, anything that you want, really, with the Nine of Cups. So what about the Four of Wands? Another card for commitment, marriage, or hierophant. Courthouse. Could be going to the courthouse to marry a beloved with that hierophant energy. All right. So it's about deep commitment, but it's it's something that's like very formal too. Something that is um, <clears throat> has a traditional route like t to go on. So that it's, it is meaning about major commitment. <clears throat> Maybe even contracts, legal documents. These angels or these watchers, they're helping you um, transcend any kind of loss or heartache too. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. So they, your spirit team is saying that they know how much you have lost and they that you they know how much you have hurt and have had to let go of. Um, Seven of Wands is coming out to clarify that Three of Swords in reverse. So it, it's it's saying in in a sense that it's up to you to go after what you want. Um, and you can make more room for more opportunities and positive energy, asserting yourself by uh, detaching yourself from these hurtful feelings or just uh, putting it in the past, putting something in the past. All right. Being open to new experiences with this drifter, experiencing life as it comes. Definitely. Wow. We have 7-7. Seven, seven. So... Definitely, you have a lot of options, um, all of which really will bring you to this victory. Um, so there's tons of options here. 7-7, seven, seven. being brave, being bold, being assertive. Tell me about, and these are all the options that you're going to have as you're experiencing things as it comes. What about the official person? Give us more information on the official person. The high priestess. Okay, I think it's wanting to point out too that Pisces energy is present, especially with that. Look at four of wands. And because of this, so it's like you know deep inside what it is that you really want and um, that there's some kind of like forgiveness energy, releasing judgment upon your situation and upon somebody else. Um, for their situation. Hmm. And then another card that's like, yeah, you're meeting milestones. So I see this really good. The only thing with the Seven of Cups is there could be um, choices that are not necessarily the best for us that we can choose. But, I mean, that's all up to you to choose what it is that you want. Radical acceptance, unconditional love here. It's it's talking about uh, releasing resentment, anger, um, judgment in reverse, releasing your judgments um, upon others, allowing others and situations in your life to transform just as you transform and become, you know, basically somebody new. Five of Pentacles in the reverse, letting go of uh, financial hard times and um, struggles. The magician in the reverse, to me, that usually comes out when something has lost its magic or lost its spark. You know what I mean? So, like, something with this death card, for some of you all, it's about ending a long-term commitment, like, officially through the courthouse. Uh, for others, it's going to be, like, the opposite. But I feel like something has lost its spark with the magician in the reverse. Yeah. Enough to say that somebody has betrayed you with the Ten of Swords. And it was little by little by little. And so now it's time to walk past that. Um, to get out of a time where we felt um, betrayed. Yeah. So, and, and I have Five of Wands on the bottom. There could be a lot of competition. 
to so how does how does um well how does the energy of the watchers help us how is the energy of the watchers helping aquarius at this moment knight of cups by letting you know or showing you what's not moving forward and what is um what offers come to you that are not sincere or that might be things to regret so they're letting you know beforehand before you have a disappointment sadness or regret um allowing a little bit more play into your life with the page of wands in the reverse might help you and nine of swords goodness okay so this is coming across more of like depression and anxiety um over the things that didn't work but when you have you know when you have nothing to um do with that like there's no control um over something it, you can get lost in those emotions and i feel like that's getting lost in the emotions of feeling like um something owes you or something like that and it's time for a fresh new start which means a fresh new perspective of life and where it's going at this moment so let's get some fortune cookies for you let's see what else comes through with the fortune cookies Um, positive work outcomes, consistent efforts will bring in rewards, and a major purchase is worth making. Uh, opportunities, an important offer will be made. Be prepared and dressed to impress. And I have love. Love is in the air. A great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. Um, and definitely, even if something is not fair feeling, um, assert yourself. Go for what you want. And it says the time is ripe for soulmate connections. And it says birth of a child also likely. So we're going to pull from the Lover's Oracle and wrap up this reading. Thanks for joining me as always. Hit like, share, subscribe. It helps out and I really appreciate the energy too. It donates it to this reading also. Um, okay. Whenever it comes to, or when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So it's saying, that to, again, just a different way of saying release the judgment here. Um, embrace through each other, you find the missing pieces. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. And... Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Aquarius, that's what I've got for your next 48-hour reading. Thanks for joining me. Sending you light and love as always. Bye-bye.